Marcus Mariota is still the man in Tennessee, but will he be when the Titans are done with Atlanta? And is this a must-win game for Matty Ice and the Falcons' playoff hopes? Three predictions are headed your way in a quick sec, but first, a few numbers for you to gnaw on. If the Titans want to get back on track, Mariota has to perform less like first half Marcus, and more like the version we've seen in the second half of games this year. Mariota's completion rate, passing yards, and passer rating are all better in quarters three and four when stacked up against quarters one and two. In turn, the Titans have put up a measly 6.3 points per game in the first half, tied for 25th in the NFL. Getting down early means they run less in the second half, which takes the ball out of Derrick Henry's hands, who is at his best when he's wearing down defenses in the latter part of games. As Henry carries, cuts back, and has a first down. And running less means Mariota's throwing more. The Titans finished last week with 40 pass attempts, which helps partially explain the Titans' O-line giving up nine sacks in one night. Quick setup and throw, and no throw is made as there's the first of the year for Campbell. And he got through in a flash. So it's all linked, and right now it's all linked to number eight being able to find a way to generate offense through the air. Matt Ryan, on the other hand, doesn't have that problem. Ryan, end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown! If you saw Ryan's stat line from last week, you would have thought the Falcons won for sure. 29 of 35, 304 yards, three TDs, and 121.1 passer rating. But he did shoot himself in the foot once again, an odd thing, He's been doing that a lot to start the 2019 season. Matt Ryan looking deep over the middle, picked off! Intercepted by Clayton Gethers! Ryan threw another pick, his sixth interception of the year, and that makes one in three straight games, which he didn't do once in 2018. One way to cut back on those kind of mistakes, run the ball more. Right up the gut, and Freeman explodes! Devontae Freeman! Devonta Freeman averaged 5.5 yards per carry, totaling 88 yards on the ground. But that pencils out to only 16 carries, which you'd like to see increase this week, because the Titans have not been great at stopping the run. 4.8 yards per carry allowed, even letting Leonard Fournette break free on them last week. So Freeman could play well in this one, which would also help them in the ball control game, which is going to be important because Atlanta's D once again will be without safety Keanu Neal, who is done for the year again, this time with an Achilles injury. Can the Falcons win without him? Time to find out if our prediction panel thinks so. Ryan looking deep for Julio Jones. He's got him wide open. Jones inside the 15. That was a beautiful route by Jones.